gravity acts differently on matter than on antimatter. Like that's that's one of the things going on here at the antimatter factory is studying antimatter falling in a gravitational field. If you want to measure how long it takes for something to fall, you have to make sure that in the beginning it was actually, you know, in rest. The problem is, let's say you want to use the antiproton, this is charged. And so it's not only gravity that acts on this, but also the electromagnetic force. So any magnetic or electric fields around will, you know, for sure also interact with this thing. Mm -hmm. So you cannot do this type of experiment with something that is charged. The easiest antimatter particle that's neutral that you can make is anti-hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Making sure it's cooled down, trying to get it into rest is even harder. Mm. Now we get the resolution to make sure that we know what we're timing is actually the gravitational effect and not something from you know, its own speed it still had because it wasn't cooled down enough.